Once again, Meghan Markle and her estranged father, Thomas Markle, are making headlines. And this time, the Duchess of Sussex's father did not hold back. Ahead of the upcoming August 11th release of an unofficial biography about Meghan and Prince Harry, Finding Freedom, Thomas warned his daughter and her hubby that they should stop whining. The pointed comment came after The Times and The Sunday Times began publishing excerpts of the book, revelations that appear to paint Meghan and Prince Harry in a sympathetic light. From an anecdote about Prince William and Kate Middleton supposedly being jealous of Meghan and Harry, to a bit about Kate purportedly not showing Meghan the ins and outs of royal life, the book seemingly demonstrates the trials and tribulations the Duke and Duchess Sussex endured during their time as senior royals. According to the book, Meghan reportedly once told a friend, "...I gave up my entire life for this family. I was willing to do whatever it takes." And Harry reportedly once told a friend, referring to all the tabloid scrutiny, "...it's a sick part of the society we live in today, and no one is doing anything about it. Where's the positivity? Why is everyone so miserable and angry?" Although some suspect Meghan and Harry contributed to the book, the couple's spokesperson released a statement on July 25, 2020, arguing otherwise. According to BBC News, the statement read, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to Finding Freedom. This book is based on the author's own experiences as members of the Royal Press Corps and their own independent reporting. In an exclusive interview with The Sun published July 27, Thomas Markle didn't mince words about his daughter and seemed to imply that Finding Freedom is a bad look for her. Despite the public statement claiming that Meghan and Prince Harry weren't involved in the writing of the book, Thomas told the tabloid, "...this is the worst time in the world for them to be whining and complaining about anything, because people everywhere are suffering due to the coronavirus pandemic. I love my daughter, but I really don't appreciate what she's become right now." Thomas also seemed taken aback regarding the passages in the book that alleged that Harry and Meghan rejected arranging any sort of security for him after their romance became public knowledge. Thomas told The Sun, "...the fact the royals advised them to get me help and they refused to do it is incredible news." Thomas Markle isn't the only one upset about the upcoming tell-all, if recent royal gossip is to be believed. A source told Vanity Fair, "...it's going to open old wounds at a time when everyone wanted to move on. I think the person who will be most upset about it all is the Queen." We don't know if the Queen views the book as a platform for Meghan and Harry's complaints, but insiders suggest she was bothered when the couple launched their Sussex royal website in the middle of the Megxit kerfuffle. According to the Daily Mail, a source told the authors of Finding Freedom, "...the family is very private and bringing it into the public domain when they were told not to hurt the Queen. It was laying out what the Sussexes wanted in a statement without consulting with Her Majesty first, and she's the head of the institution." Around the time that Thomas Markle accused Meghan and Harry of whining, royal expert Katie Nichol took to Entertainment Tonight to theorize about how the Duke of Sussex is doing with his transition to Los Angeles. She told the outlet, "...he has the added pressure of now having to forge a new life for himself in a country he doesn't know, without an infrastructure, and without the level of support that he enjoyed when he was a Prince of England. He's moved to a new country in the middle of a pandemic." We can only imagine what Thomas Markle might have to say about Harry's alleged struggle to adapt. We'll likely hear more from Meghan's estranged papa when Finding Freedom hits booksellers August 11, 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.